everybody, it's Mara Allard of Wind, Water, and Wisdom, and it's Monday, so it's Mara's Musings. I just want to pull an oracle card for anyone who's watching this video, and that is the energy for the week for you. Uh, I got a beautiful card today. I got painting joy across the sky, like a rainbow, all sorts of, you know, fish and amoebas and life, like stars and planets and colors and tie-dye, and it's just a joyful card. And it's from the Dreamweaver's Colette Baron reeds um, deck. If you haven't figured it out, I like a lot of her decks. Um, I just love the artwork in all of her decks. It's so different and it's so beautiful. This card is just a perfect way to start the week. And I'm going to read the message um, and I'll talk about it. But because I just love the message. I think the message is just so beautiful and so on point for where we are in this world right now. The essential meaning of the card is joy in all forms. Loving life, being grateful, sharing joy and reverence for all life. The pop in. Remember all life. We are all connected. We are not separate. That is what I feel is the energy right now is a lot of separation. But we are all connected. We are connected to the earth. We are connected to all creatures on the earth. We're connected to everybody. We're all interconnected. Life can be a sticky place some days where safety and trust may not come easily. How do you trust a world that is changing so rapidly, where people seem more and more disconnected from each other, from nature and from spirit? You work hard and hope for the best, but you can be easily disheartened and disappointed. Yes, life is a struggle. It can be unfair, hard, corrupt, and hopeless. But it simultaneously hopeful, brilliant, trustworthy, good, and beautiful. Nothing is perfect but neither will it ever be permanent. Can you bring your attention to the beauty of the cosmos, of nature and her inhabitants to see beauty within each person you encounter? Can you remember that joy is a perception, a perspective, an action? I'm gonna read one of those sentences before I go on. Nothing will ever be perfect, but neither will it ever be permanent. Love that. Even if things aren't perfect right now, the situation you're experiencing is not permanent. Everything changes. Breathe in and tune into the energy of gratitude. Choose to be kind and compassionate citizen of the world, regardless of the challenges surrounding you. Give freely of your heart. Then you will know how to paint joy across the sky. Joy doesn't need the outer world to behave. In fact, the greatest expression of joy can arise from your deepest sorrow. Remember that joy is an energy and a contagious one at that. When you cultivate it and spread it freely, the other outer sorry, world will reflect it back to you in a form that is so beautiful and meaningful. Choose joy today, and soon you'll note how much richer and fulfilled you are. In fact, more reasons to be joyful will spring up in the outer world the more you pay attention to joy. Like anything, the more you focus on something, the greater it becomes. If all you're focusing on is your sorrows, your things that are not happening perfectly in your world, your anger, then that is magnified. That is not to say if you are going through grief, you need to feel that. But within grief, there is joy because within grief, there are joyful memories typically associated with that grief. So if you've lost somebody you love recently, the memories that you hold in your heart are joy, some of them. So focus on those. If you're grieving, if you're angry, there's still joy to be found in the world. There's joy just looking out your window. There's joy just driving down the street or walking down the street. There's more joy than we look for because sometimes we forget to look. You know, it is joy is in a sunrise, joy is in a sunset, joy is in a bird soaring up in the sky. Joy is in a flower budding through the ground. Joy is in fresh rain. You know, you just have to find and look for the joy. Joy is in a really good cup of coffee. See, my joy. Joy can be in a great meal. You know, and when you feel that, when you eat a really good meal or something really yummy, then be grateful for it and feel that satisfaction, that satisfaction, that joy in that moment. That is what this card is asking, is to find the moments, the snippets of joy. And the more you focus on the snippets of joy, the more you'll see joy. 
And that has been the most profound shift in my life is gratitude and joy. As that things happen, bad stuff happens to people around me, to myself, everything. This is life. We are humans. Nothing is going to be perfect, but it's not permanent. I love that. Like, I need to tattoo that. Because when the moment isn't perfect, if things aren't going your way, it will shift and change. And can you find joy in the shift and change? There are snippets of it. So today, look for the joy in the littlest of ways. Is it a child smiling? Is it a dog wave wagging its tail? It is a cat purring? It, it's that little thing. That's where you change your energy. That's where you change your frequency, not in the grand, in the little increments through the day. Have a great week.